Well, I'm missing something today, aren't I? This big instrument that you and I both play. I don't have my bass with me today because I wanted to talk about some concepts related to the swing feeling and give you some ideas to consider. So let's take a closer look today as we talk about swing. Welcome to Learn Jazz Bass with Matt Rubicki. Thanks for being here. Please like, subscribe, look for a PDF below. So the first thing I wanted to mention is a great quote from an author named Francois Sagan. I think that's how you pronounce it. And he says that jazz music is a feeling of intensified nonchalance. And I think that's so great. Like nonchalance meaning like you don't care, right? Or you're really not really that invested, but with intensity. <laughs> so this duality of the not caring and caring is such a great description, I think, of the swing feeling because it is that duality of being forward mo having forward motion but also being rooted. And jazz music itself is a music of duality. It's high and low, it's country and city, it's sacred and profane. So that fits right into this idea that swing is this balance. How tight is your bowstring if you're gonna have a bow and arrow, right? It has to be the proper tautness so that the arrow can go properly. So we need this kind of intensity when we are playing, but at the same time, we don't wanna sort of bear down on the time and then it becomes stifled and sort of, you know, tense. We don't wanna do that either. There's lots of different ways to swing, in fact, and that's maybe another video as well, but there's swinging on top. There's a New York way of swinging. And there's a Kansas City way of swinging. so on and so forth. So this kind of feeling, I think, is really well demonstrated in a really neat sort of little motion that the great drummer Ed Thigpen taught my friend Alvin Atkinson, a fantastic drummer, who taught me. So this we do with our bodies, and I'm going to uh, suggest that you try it right now or at some other time. I'm going to 
turn to the side, I'm standing up, and I'm gonna to turn to the side here, and the idea is that you're gonna sort of be making a circle in front of your chest. And if I make the circle and bring it towards me, if I'm going in a circle like this with my arms, you can see that as I'm moving them, my back isn't really moving, is it? There's not a whole lot of motion to my upper body as I move this. But if I reverse that and have my hands go down and let the weight of my arms fall as they should, look what happens. You start to get this sense of your neck is sort of moving, right? <laughs> like you're, the front part of you is being pulled forward and yet I'm not moving. This I think is a really, really neat way to again, think about that duality of forward motion, but also relaxed sort of rootedness. Another thing I wanted to say for your consideration is that I think it's important to think for yourself <laughs> about where this rhythm comes from and what is the sort of um, uh, provenance, for lack of a better word, of this thing that we call swing. And there's lots been written about it, there's lots of observations about it, I have not seen myself somebody write or say what I'm about to say, though that doesn't mean it's not out there, I just haven't seen it. Maybe you can direct me to this. But consider that African slaves brought to New Orleans and brought to the Caribbean come from mostly West Africa, from what we know. Traditional West African music has a lot of 6-8 in it. Now, it's not every bit of the music, but there's a very clear sort of um, analysis you can do in a lot of the traditional percussion music where 6-8 is very important in the overall rhythmic feeling. So, Take a look at this video real quick where we have um, a group from, uh, from an Afro-Cuban group playing something in six and it goes into an, a little Oscar Peterson intro. So take a listen to this. So were you able to hear the sixes in there? Um, for the Afro-Cuban thing, it's sort of generically like. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And did you notice how smoothly that went into the Oscar, tri Oscar Peterson trio where um, the drummer is basically sort of mimicking that same feel and then when they use the triplets to get into the swing feel, it's sort of seamless, isn't it? That's because I think they're connected. This again is sort of my theory. If we take those six eight, that important six eight in African music, and think of them as triplets instead, we all know that the swing feeling has been described as having a triplet undercurrent. It is a mix of duple and triple meter. Talk about a duality again, duple meaning two or four, and triple three, six, nine, etc. So this, um, this triplet feeling is under the duple feeling. And that in and of itself, I think is an important connection. Like 
if we, if we are hearing or, or we are aware in our musical life of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Triple it, triple that, triple that, triple that, da da da. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's an important connection, and I think that understanding a little bit about music that comes from the African diaspora can inform how we think and conceive of our own swing feeling. Additionally, I learned something about these triplets from the great educator and saxophonist Ron Carter who we uh, unfortunately lost very recently. And my condolences go out to uh, his whole family. He was a great person and a great educator, and a great player, and I enjoyed watching him teach many times. One thing he would tell students is to count the triplets, however you count them, We're, we'll say triplet, triplet, uh, but have that third syllable be emphasized. So instead of triplet, 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 it's triplet, 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 triplet. You get that sense of upward movement, lift. Triplet, 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 triplet. And I think that that emphasized eighth, last part of the eighth note feeling, that six eight feeling, is of course important in the eighth note swing feeling. So we've got triplet, 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 and one, and two, and three, and four, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and triple, 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 and one, and two. Does that make sense? I hope so. It's not that you have to play that way, but I think that, as I say, considering this information for yourself and um, just sort of meditating on it or thinking about it can make your attempt at playing this music more informed. And I think that's a good thing. No matter what your end result is, I think we should understand a lot about the history uh, of this music. And I know that you all know that understanding the lineage and respecting our, our elders and our ma uh, the masters in the music is an important part of this music. So I'm going back to the roots of it, right? We're trying to figure out where does this feeling come from? To demonstrate this in a visual way, I sort of made a crude mock-up of a, a little bit of an animation of if you consider the a bar of four beats as a clock um, and you divide each single number, one, two, three, four, into triplets and, and you can see that the third number three of the triplet is in red as a different color, you sort of get a sense of where that occurs, maybe it gets you to hear it differently and so on and so forth, but one and two and three and four and so on. Now that's a really strong sort of dramatic example, right, of emphasizing that almost becomes like um, a shuffle. You know what I'm saying? That's not quite it, right? And so articulation is an extraordinarily important part of getting a good swing feeling. And that's a whole video <laughs> unto itself, if not a whole course into its, unto itself. Um, nonetheless, considering the art articulation, considering where that eighth note is placed is a really, really helpful part of developing a command of this feeling. And again, you may not like what I like and you may not like what your neighbor likes and so on and so forth, that's okay. If I don't think that's as swinging as Count Basie, it really doesn't matter. But thinking about it helps, I think. Lastly, I just wanted to share a little anecdote, a little story from my own life, and that is when I started playing music uh, in eighth grade, I wanted to be a rock and roll star, like I know a lot of us probably did. And I was really, really serious about it. And in high school, I spent a lot of energy learning and spent a lot of energy trying to be uh, uh, setting myself up to be a rock star, so much so that um, I did my undergraduate studies at Berklee College of Music. And when I was there, I went there as an electric player playing rock music, but slowly got introduced to jazz music. And I'll tell you, there's one specific moment that I remember like it was yesterday. And I was just playing for fun in my room with my electric bass. And after some time having sort of absorbed hearing more jazz than I had done before, I was sort of trying to play a walking bass line. And there was one microsecond where I played 
an eighth note, sort of a skip, you know, a walking bass line skip that we all know that immediately I felt, okay, I'm connected. I'm connected to this feeling. I'm connected to this rhythm and so on, because I just so happened to articulate an eighth note in the proper place. I suddenly saw it all in a way. You know, of course I didn't. I mean, that was 30 years ago. So I had a lot, still have a lot to learn, but that single moment of, 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 being feeling sort of in, in um, empowered and also in control of mimicking this feeling that I heard was crucial for me to be um, excited about learning more about the music. So I think it is helpful to pay attention to thinking about the feeling. I've talked about it in other videos. People often talk about it, but we rarely actually, I think, dig down. We're always talking about scales and so on and so forth. Think about the swing feeling. So I hope that these thoughts were sort of interesting to you and compelling at least. And thanks for joining me today as always. Please look for a PDF below, like and subscribe if you would. And always remember, straight ahead and strive for tone.